Hey, so I know it's been a really long time since I last filmed and it actually feels like I'm, I say that every single time I film now, <laughs> but I have been busy. I have had the twins, they're downstairs sleeping at the moment um, and I thought I'd use this time to quickly do a nursery tour. So without me talking too much, let me show you around. <laughs> start from this corner of the room um a little wardrobe used to be Yasser's to keep his suits in but now it's theirs um also used to have white handles um but we changed it because I wanted to keep the woody feel going um and also this bear up here was from Yasser's grandma she got it 20 or 25 years ago something like that um and she wanted us to have it for the twins so that's what we have um and then we have Let's open the wardrobe. All of their clothes, I mean, it looks like a lot, but to be fair, they're only using that portion. Um, the rest of it is just kind of waiting for them to get big enough. Um, so yeah, they're not using all of these clothes yet. And then I've got these baskets up here, which I got from Amazon. Um, this one holds all their like booties, mitts, and socks and tights and then this one holds um, bibs and what are they called muslins 
and this one holds all of their hats. Now they have a lot of hats because my mum knits. Um, so those ones at the back, um, my mum knitted for them and they're pretty much the only ones that they wear at the moment because these ones that we bought are still too big for them because um, we didn't realise how small the babies were going to be. And then I also bought some, what are these called, dividers so that I know whereabouts um, in their, you know, in their life that we are in the wardrobe. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically we're still here because we're still at, we're kind of getting into zero to three, but every shop has different sizes and we've grown out of newborn now um, because I am actually 12 weeks postpartum. Um, the babies are here. Um, so yeah, we've grown out of newborn. We're into kind of zero to three, still kind of in first size. Um, but we have some really, really nice clothes in here. This is one of my favourites from H&M. Um, it's like a little tracksuit. I roll these up so that they don't fall into the bottom rail. Um, but yeah, this is like my favourite. It's from H&M. It's got a bear hood. Um, and we thought we'd get her a white one so she can be a little polar bear. And hold on. And he's got a brown one, so he can be a little grizzly bear. But they don't fit yet, so we're kind of waiting for that. And I cannot wait. And also we got this from Tesco for her. This is her rail, the top one. This is from Tesco, and I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait for her to fit, because I think she'll be so cute if I put her in like a little dress with tights, some little shoes. Um, I just think it will be adorable um, and this as well I'm not really sure where I got this from but I love it and I cannot wait for her to fit it um, and then we got oh also these hangers these wooden hangers that we got um, just so happens that Gap are going online and they were giving away um, all their shop hangers so we just took bags and bags and bags of them now these ones I'd already bought before I knew about the um, about the wooden ones before the wooden ones came about and I prefer the wooden ones so we kind of used all the wooden ones that we can um, oh I also bought this from H&M <laughs> and I panic bought um, because I saw that it was going I bought this when I was pregnant and I saw it was going out of stock and I was like well I love it so much and I want her, her to have it so that one this is for a year old um and then so now i'm kind of pissed because i went on the website i think it was yesterday and i've seen that they have the same coat back in stock in baby sizes so i'm pissed about that um and then we've got the boys clothes um ezra and then we've got his little jeans i love these little jeans he fits into these I'm not sure where they're from, I think, hold on, Gap, um, probably got them when we got the um, hangers, um, because everything was on, it was like a crazy sale in Gap, oh and then this is the grizzly bear um, little outfit, got so many clothes I can't really fit them in here anymore, um, but yeah we've got some really cute little, and then this is a little denim jacket, I can't wait for him to fit into. Um, everything's already pre-washed. Oh, also, one of my favourite things, my brother got them. This is her one. Little tracksuits from m and I just love them because anyone who knows us know that we love animals and nature. Um, and he's got, oops, and he's got a navy one. Um, so I can't wait for them to fit and then they're a little, oh, I think that's Harla crying, and then they'll match. Um, be right back. I've just got to go and sort my daughter out. <laughs> okay, I've got her back to sleep now. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was talking about, but basically that's their um, wardrobe or their like, hang-up clothes. Um, let me close this. And then in their drawers, I have so their sleep suits. 
um, which I've had to label. So we've got like first size, which they've kind of started to grow out of now, zero to three, and then seven months plus, and then in between is like from zero to three to seven months. Um, all in kind of order. We've got some really nice ones um, and some plain ones, but a lot of them, again, they don't fit into yet. So um, yeah, that's their sleep suits. And then in here, this is the first drawer that we used. Um, so we've got zero to three long sleeve um, vests, zero to three short sleeve vests, and then we've got first size long sleeve vests. And then in here we've got three to six month short sleeves. I don't know why I've done that arrow point in that way, but it should be the other way. Um, zero to th uh, three to six months, and then three to six months long sleeve here um and that's pretty much their wardrobe and their clothes um they've got pram suits and stuff downstairs um but yeah that's pretty much their clothes and then moving around here is the changing table or like trolley whatever you want to call it so we've obviously got the changing mat here um we've got a little temperature gauge there as well just to make sure it's not too cold um and then down here we've got so i'm quite big on trying to do my best for the environment so i do have reusable nappies i've got 50 of them the ones that i bought were um a uh, little lamb um and they still don't quite fit them so uh we've had to unfortunately use disposable we just got Audi ones because they were the cheapest um and they seem to have worked really really well for us but I mean as much as I don't like using disposable um I have had to um use them because they don't fit into the ones that we pre-bought um but I'll go I'll do another video on these once they do start using them and then we've just got our wipes water wipes some vitamins uh what's that uh, like nipple cream um and then some baby stuff uh, toiletries and sponges and back there um is a liner for these but again i'll do another video on that um and some more stuff down here this was a gift um and inside is like a i think it's a necklace um for when they start teething they can basically chew on it <laughs> while i'm holding them um it's really cute um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with the changing trolley. Just got all their stuff and then here is the, the bin where we put, when we start using the reusable nappies, that's where we'll put them. Um, ready for the wash. Okay, and then moving up here, we've got the chest. Um, now this chest was in my room and it was holding our toiletries and blankets and stuff. Um, but now it's in their room because, long story short, we didn't have room anymore because we had to move all our stuff, ar stuff around, around in our in my bedroom um, and also put the snus pod um, next to the bed. So that didn't fit in our room anymore, but it was too nice to um, just throw away. So we decided to put it in here um, and DIY it. Now, the whole thing used to be brilliant white, but it didn't quite fit with the rest of the furniture. So the furniture here is like wood um gray and cream um you see like there's wood and cream there there's gray and wood um and then the chair here is like cream and wood and it didn't fit because it was just brilliant white and it just stood out so much so i decided to DIY it and i bought some laminate let me see if i can get better lighting because it's gone quite dark i don't know if that's any better but um, I've got some laminate and I put it on the lid and I actually think it looks quite good. It does look like wood and it wasn't expensive either. I think I got it from B&Q. Um, and then this bear here is from Yas's granddad who's passed away. Um, he had it for 40 years and Yas's family decided to gift it to us or to the twins. Um, and we absolutely love it. And then we've got this lamp here from Next um that's the Bar barnaby bear range i think um and then so yeah 
in this chest basically holds towels, blankets and toys at the moment. And then, and then up from that, we've got our little shelf. It's our bookshelf. So we've got some more bunnies up there. Um, now we tend to get gifted bunny toys because we do have two rabbits downstairs. Um, so we do have a lot of rabbits everywhere. Even downstairs, we have a lot of um, toy rabbits. But yes, we've got our books. We've got, you know, Hungry Caterpillar. That's a classic. Um, and then we've got some bedtime stories. We've got some puppet books that have little puppets in them. Um, and then our friend got this for Harlow and Ezra on Christmas. And it's a tale of two with Harlow and Ezra um, all completely um, personalised. And it's, it's actually amazing. The story is so, so good. Um, we love it. Best gift. Um, and then I got this gift for, well, the twins got this gift for um, Yas for their dad. Um, about how he's the champion of dads, the king of dads, it's called. Um, so, yeah, that's our bookshelf. And at the end there, we've got another one of those um, false hanging plants i got them from amazon um because there's also one over there on the um wardrobe and then if you come down we've got our nursing chair which is where i nurse obviously quite self-explanatory or even um if i'm if i'm bottle feeding if i'm upstairs i'll use this chair because they're so comfortable um and they rock and even the footstool rocks um so that's good and then we've got this giant bear now Yas got this for me for Valentine's Day oh, for Valentine's Day one year. Um it was in our room, absolutely loved it, don't have room for it anymore, and we've gifted it to the twins. Um because again it's not something that I ever want to throw away, but it just fits so perfectly in this room. Um so we gifted it to the twins. And then coming over here, we've got our photo frames for this wall with our baby animals. So we've got a wolf cub, a baby goat, and a bear cub. Um, the photo frames are from Ikea, and the photos themselves are from a seller on Etsy. Um, super, super helpful people, um, and we absolutely love them. We just, again, it just, everything just fits properly in this room. So that's our photos. And then as you come round, you've got our cots. So we've got them, two cots laying, you know, um, like head to head rather than like next to each other. Um, because that's just the best way that it fits in this room. So we've got our cots from Wayfair and we love them because it's got storage. With our, it's got pram suits and things that they don't fit in yet. And um, bedding over there. Because we actually decided not to put bedding on yet. It's still got plastic on the mattresses because they're too young to be in their cots yet and we didn't want you know the bedding to get all um dusty and gross and then we've got mobiles these were bought by our cousin these cushions so we've got a cushion here fluffy one and then another fluffy cushion here we've got two of them two of each um they're from wilco these um wolves are from my mum they were my mum's and she's given them to the twins um now I know obviously when the twins are sleeping in the cots we aren't going to put we're not going to keep obviously the teddies and the um cushions and stuff in there we know that it has to be like empty for the twins to sleep safely um I do know that but for the minute they're not in the cots so I thought it looked pretty <laughs> um and then oh the mobiles as well they um spin and play a song which is really nice they play music and they spin um and then at the back of that is my i call it my masterpiece i'm very very proud of it i painted this mural um i decided really really long time ago before i got pregnant that when i do get pregnant and when i do have kids i will paint them a mural um, and I didn't know what I was going to paint. I just happened to paint this when I did get pregnant. Um, I decided I wanted to do mountains and, you know, trees and bushes and water. So that's what I went with. And so the animals in this room are kind of animals that you'd find in the mountains and in that kind of area. I wanted to keep on theme. Um, 
so yeah that's my mural and i absolutely love it i'm so proud of it yeah that is pretty much yep that's the whole room so um yeah so now you've seen the nursery i hope you like it as much as i do because this is just my favorite room ever and it was completely des designed by us um you know we kind of decided what we wanted in the color scheme and you know the theme of the animals and mountains and things like that nature um and i just i couldn't be happier with it i absolutely love it it's unisex as well so you know it's good for both my little boy and my little girl and i just love it in here and i hope that when they grow up they'll love it too i mean at the moment when we do lay them in their cots they do um look up at the mural and they are really interested in you know they're starting to explore now and um, they're at the age they're coming up to three months um but yeah i just um it's my favorite room in the house if you have any questions then don't hesitate to comment or even drop me a message on my instagram i always leave my instagram down below in the description if you like this video then like this video and if you want to see more then please subscribe to my channel